So once we got to the European mainland, our first stop was meant to be Cologne, but already the advantages of having a car were becoming apparent. We saw Bruges on the map. Ah, fair. And from our recollection of the film in Bruges. We saw the canals and the bridges and you know the swans and that. We just fucking loved it then. How was Bruges? It was good. Yeah, I mean, I think you probably wouldn't want to go there for more than about a day. Nah, no tap water in the McDonald's. And uh, our next stop was Cologne, which we stayed through a night. Saw the cathedral that evening and tried to make a sharp exit in the morning. Tried to make a sharp exit. Took us ages to sort out the roof. So that was the prelude to our first and real stop off on our trip. Have you heard, what did you hear about Berlin? Any expectations? I knew it was a session. I knew there were a lot of big clubs, difficult to get into. A bit about the history. The war, that's probably what I knew about. The war, yeah. About the war. Yeah, that's about it really. Culture died. That's something. I didn't actually know that much before. Only culture person. First couple of days we walked, walked round. Not much went down. Then we went to the cafe and I went to check. Yeah, we had a good coffee. Yeah. Uh, Checkpoint Charlie wasn't great because it's, it's a museum and we learned from that point that museums are just not the way to go with historic visits. So you didn't like Checkpoint Charlie? No, shit. Sure. The next museum we went to, that Typography of Terror one was good. We went to that straight after. With all the balls hanging, hanging out. Yeah, the pictures. It was more the pictures, definitely. It was good to know about the SS and some of that stuff. This was the site of the SS. A Holocaust Memorial. I like that. I like that, yeah. The audio guy. And then we went to like a Thai restaurant. Yeah, some delicious. local cuisine. Sushi, Asian, Thai. I don't want Asian. That wasabi, mate. The wasabi challenge. Bryn that was Bryn good. Bryn makes you spaz out. Bryn liked it. First <laughs> 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 oh, time I tried it. That was good, and there was a massive storm. Biggest Just storm in Berlin. Storm. So the second day, the bikes. We got the bikes, and we were free. As soon as you get the bikes there, it's fucking good. Bryn loves the bikes. It's a small city. So within like a 10 minute cycle, you're in a different area with a totally different vibe. Vibe different. And we got a lot more stuff done in one day. Yeah. Good morning, everyone. And it is Thursday. A palace of We did Brandenburg Gate, Brandenburg. Holocaust Memorial. It's a bit long there, really. That's the walkway. Nice we cycled all the way up that walkway to the main one. Yeah. Right start. Yeah, yeah, right. Well, we cycled around the lake. Probably. You guys don't remember that bit. But I remember that. Museum Island after that. Oh, you went in, didn't you? We didn't go in. The student rate just wasn't. They uh, they weren't taking my student card, so I was like, nah, fuck you then. Pergamon, the most famous museum. How was that? Fucking museum. We're looking at like, there was like a really nice garden. Uh, there's a we couple statues outside. of native yeah. people. <laughs> East side is the best. <laughs> And the one in the camera. I like how it's all by the water. Across that bridge, the river, the busker yeah. and the big tool thing. The East Side Gallery. That was good because we went the wrong side accidentally. Whereas this one was just the wall of graffiti that 
have changed and adapted over time. Big game. East side is the best. <laughs> that was now that. That's funny. Yeah. Culture, history, relevance. It's crazy that one divide, how different it is on two different sides of the city. Okay. Key pictures. So, big cycling accident. Berlin was kind of a unique city, probably the most like liberal or at least open one, balanced with its like masses, its history of like oppression. What was your reaction to that balance? One, I guess it's a city that's been destroyed and they've been able to rebuild it. Everybody's of the same thing. Egalitarian. Fair. And also having history where the fall of and, and the fall of communist empire makes people quite uh, aware of sort of liberal values. Thousands and thousands of West Germans come to make the point that the wall has suddenly become irrelevant. Occasionally they shout, Die Mauer muss weg, the wall must go. How do you measure such an astonishing moment in history? The same with any sort of city where there's been dust, very industrial past, that sort mm. of ends up becoming quite edgy. I don't know why, someone probably knows the reason. Maybe because it's built with, with no character. People feel People if I go there, I can make it my to own. to make it. And that's expressed everywhere around the city. You made it your own. Last and most important question, the session. The session was decent. Last night, yeah. we hadn't really gone out apart from that. No, we went to Yam, that was a Oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, it's a nice show. Wizard he, not involved, he not a musketeer. That rooftop bar was before that, wasn't it? Yeah. That was sick. Yeah, it was basically park. this this car park, just barren car park, there's nothing there, obviously. And everybody's just going up in this lift to like an unknown floor. Brings you up, you go up this uh, spiral entrance, and you come up, there's just plants, everything going on. Rooftop bar over the city looks amazing. You couldn't take your camera out, apparently. Nah. I think you just look like a tourist, though, don't you? You just whip out your phone in these places. The you want to just lose the street cred. Key. The street cred yeah, followed us all around Europe. <laughs> the last night. Brick, come on. You keep going. We went to the first one was Tresla, wasn't it? The first uh, one we yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I chained our bikes up. And I, uh, I just bought this T-shirt that went down to my knees. H&M. H&M. It was on off. I was like, you know what? Tonight's the night. We're going to have a big night. I'm going to get in. I look edgy. We'd looked up tips online, so you, you don't talk much, you don't get rowdy, you don't look at your phone, that's crucial. We were queuing up, get to the front, not to my boys. We were quite gutted, I think. Especially after buying a t-shirt, you think. We, we had the bikes, we didn't get there by taxi. Let's not let this get our hopes down. So you hit Bergheim, we can no queue, we're like, ah, oh, this. Go up, literally just go snap. No. <laughs> yeah. It started raining, we're like, this is not great. Oh, shit. Getting in was good. crucial. How did we get into the club, Seb? I honestly think they thought Seb and I had some sort of relationship because we walked up in a pair together quite close. She was like, get in there. Have a good night, boy, she said. How was the overall experience? Would you go back there slash live there? I'd, I'd go back to Berlin. I'd go back and I would live there, yeah. I'd live there for six months, see what it's like. I, I wouldn't rate just going to Germany and not knowing anything. We're just an abomination the English we go there and start shouting in English at people that don't know our language. I think it'll be good to go there, learn the language, learn that way of life. Pretty good. 